Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to create this really cool metallic snowflake effect and I'm going to pack quite a bit into this tutorial so we'll go ahead and get started. You might be surprised to find out that I'm actually using the text effect to create the majority of this. Um, so what we're going to do is we'll drop uh, the text effect on one of the layers on our mega tree. And I've already created multiple layers on the mega tree. I think you'll need at least seven uh, to create this particular effect and when we put a text effect on uh, we have a couple different options obviously um, the text we'd like to display um, down here we can select the font type um, and then some movement options and the font we're going to use is kind of the magic behind this and it's not native to Mac or Windows so we're going to have to go online and find that font um, and I'm using this site called defont.com and uh, there are multiple sites where you can download fonts. I'll link this one in the description below. When you get to defont, you have a menu here you can select um, from the Christmas fonts under holiday and you've got about nine pages. So you can see how you can get really creative uh, with this particular effect in X-Lights. Um, I wanted uh, a variety of different snowflakes so I chose this DH snowflakes um, click download, open that up, double click, it should execute itself and install into your system fonts. And we'll jump back over to X Lights. We'll click on this font under our text effect. I'm sorry, font. And then we're going to scroll down and find DH Snowflakes. I already know I want about a size of 48 for this particular effect, but you can play around with your font size. Click OK, and we can just play with what each letter does as far as the type of snowflake. If you're on uh, Windows, you can go to Character Map, and you can see all of those displayed in one location. On the Mac, you can uh, go to Spotlight Search and bring up Font Book. If you bring up Font Book, um, you'll go down to User Fonts, right click on DH Snowflakes, and uh, Preview Font, and you can see all the different types that it has there. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to alternate between two different snowflakes. So I'm just going to pick two SJ, SJ, SJ. And the reason we're doing that multiple times is because we're going to have this scroll across and we don't want it to run out. Um, so it's going to have the appearance of wrapping. I'm going to do some movement, and we're going to go down and to the right. So it doesn't have nearly enough time to get down to the bottom. So um, if we like that speed, the way we can keep the same speed, but, um, uh, but give it time to get down to the bottom, is to stretch this out. Um, could do that there. It doesn't have quite enough time, but I want to speed it up anyway, so I'm going to bring this back to here, and I'm actually going to go down and speed this up to maybe, there we go, 18. So it's got plenty enough time uh, to get to the bottom. So again, you can affect it by the speed or the duration of this effect. Um, what we're going to do now is we're going to highlight that, Control c and then we're going to stagger it. We want it to start a little bit later on the next one, and we're going to have a line come right behind it. So we're going to... Control V, I went two time and marks in. You'll play with it to see what kind of gap you want between the two. I'd like it to alternate so that it has some variety to it. So the second one, we're going to have it go down into the left instead of down into the right. All right. We still have this one copied, so we're going to go two in again um, from this last one. Control V. So now we have this alternating effect. And that's the majority of it um, already. So now we want to give it that color. So what I did for the color is I dropped a spiral effect, extend it to the duration, um, and again, here's where we're going to have to do something a little more creative with X lights, and I've created um, uh, multiple color palettes, and there's two in here that I have to kind of create a metallic look. So I have a silver palette and a gold palette, and let's select the silver. Okay, so. To get this silver palette, um, here's here's a tip. What we can do is go online and go to Google 
and just in the Google Images you can type in silver RGB code or if you want it gold um, gold RGB code and there's a ton of them that will give you the hex values um, for these different um, uh, shades and then you can just put those in a palette and save that palette find the ones you like um, and save those in a palette so if we go back to X lights you can you can always go in here and just select this put that value if you select these RGB sliders you can put that hex value uh, right here and then once you've done that for each one of these hit this little save icon and now you have that palette forever so what I'm going to do here is select several different shades in this palette and we're going to increase the thickness of the spiral wraps to where there's no gap between them going to add some sparkles and so now I have the basis for the metallic look it doesn't look all that great and I've covered up my snowflakes so we're going to use our layer blending and what we want to do is we want to unmask these snowflakes um, or unmask the, the spiral actually with the snowflakes and so um, when we go to our layer blending we're going to go down to two is true unmask and what that's saying is effect one is the one we have selected two is the summation of everything below it so everything below it is the snowflakes we would like two to unmask so where um, where those snowflakes are it's going to unmask this particular effect so we'll select that now we have metallic snowflakes and I like the spiral effect because as they go around it kind of looks like uh, the reflection is is moving um, and so that's why I chose to to go that route so we could change this and we could go to gold um, gold I don't like that really highlight there um, for this particular effect so maybe we'll kind of darken up the uh, palette and go with those but now we have kind of a metallic gold appearance well, let's just leave it at gold for a little bit now um, to do the the remainder of the effect that I showed in the beginning um, we're going to drop snowflake effect and we'll stretch that out as well and let's choose a different palette for that and go to blue just want one color and we want to increase the number of flakes a bit now there's an issue that may be a little bit hard to see here but these blue flakes are actually on top of the gold in this and what we want is um, those blue flakes to be behind and so we have to go to layer blending again and for this what we want to do is say two reveals one and remember that two is the summation of everything below so where two is black anything behind the gold snowflakes it will reveal uh, this so this basically kind of puts it in a layer behind it okay so now the blue snowflakes are behind I want to add a little bit of color to it so we're going to drop a color wash effect and we'll stretch that out as well and typically for the color wash effect you know you have multiple colors and then over the duration of time it fades from one to the other we're going to leave it at one but we're going to use this vertical fade and horizontal fade um, just to give it a little little bit of dimension now we have the same issue where that fade is on top of the the flakes so we're going to do the the same layer blending setting of two reveals one and it's going to put it in the background and so there's the effect of our metallic flakes and again we can go in here and always change this palette if we we want to use gold flakes or silver flakes we can change that I do silver I like to have a really good highlight on it so maybe change right there play around with it make it your own and um, hopefully you have fun with that take care guys